Building an ad on the Impact Engine platform is easy. Simply browse our gallery of over a thousand unique ad templates to find the ad that's perfect for your advertiser. To preview any ad, you simply click on the thumbnail image, and in the pop-up window, an animated sequence will play that'll show you exactly how the ad performs. Our gallery includes text and image ads like the one we just saw, video ads, exotic sticky note ads, corner peel ads, sliding billboard ads that can either push content or float on top of it, among others. Going back to the ad we just worked on, once you find an ad you like, you simply click on the Add to Library and Edit button underneath. This will add it to a library and list of your favorite ad templates. Once in your library, you can click on the Edit button underneath, which will take you into our editor for editing and updating the content. You'll notice in the Ad Builder, step one is for text. This breaks the ad down into all of its different text components. To edit this, simply click on the title and type in your new text. Once you've typed it in, you can click on the preview button above. This will save your ad and preview with the new information. Underneath each text area is a character count, giving you the maximum number of recommended characters for each field. Step two is for your media. On the left-hand side, you'll see listed images, videos, or SWF files, depending on the type of template you've selected. This template includes only images. To the right of each image, we'll show you the exact pixel dimensions that are ideal for this image container, in this case, 300 by 250, and the formats you can upload in, in this case, JPEG, PNG, or GIF. To actually change an image, we click on the thumbnail, which launches a gallery into which you can add folders, rename folders, much like a Windows uh, folder system. To upload an image, <coughs> simply click on the Upload tab, browse your hard drive, and upload the appropriate image. Once the image is in your gallery, you'll see it appear here in a preview window. In this case, we have an 840 by 413 pixel, and remember we're looking for a 300 by 250. You can either resize and upload in the correct uh, ad size, or we can use our image resizer in which we can drag an area to crop and get the perfect size image for this ad. Once we've done that, you'll notice the new ad has appeared here. And again, we can preview to see what that new image looks like. Step three is for colors. Typically everything from the background color to the caption colors are configurable. You can click on the color palette, select any color you like, or type in an actual RGB hex value. Again, we'll preview this real quick to see what this looks like with uh, red text at the top. Step four is for click-through URLs. The ad may have one or more depending on the template you've selected. In this case, you could actually have a different URL for each section of the template. If you want them all to be the same, you can just put the same URL into each one. Step five is for settings. This will uh, allow you to change custom settings for everything uh, from duration of transitions to the number of times you want the ad to replay, all the way down to the total number of images you actually want to show in a particular template. And finally, uh, load sizes. It's going to show you all of your ad uh, assets that you've uploaded, the total load. But for every ad in our gallery, the initial load is 16K. That means that uh, it won't prevent your site from loading or slowing down, and the rest of the ad will load once your uh, original site content has loaded. That's it. Once you save the ad, you're done.